Okay, we're at our last step. We want to make sure that we collect our teacher documentation. We've created a form in Microsoft Form, and we've also created a little template for you. So, of course, in this part, if you use Schoology, you're going to want to make sure that you edit this. Hence, it says note to the project lead. You will need to edit this assignment for your campus. Click the following Microsoft Form template. So I'm going to click the template. And then you're going to go ahead and copy it and embed this document into your Schoology course. So notice here, once that link loads, it takes you to the form we've created asking for the first and last name, title, position, grade level subject taught, the name of the digital citizenship lesson taught, the number of students, and the date of completion. You'll just simply click the duplicate button. You may need to sign into your Microsoft account. I know I'm already signed in, so it's going to recognize me. There we go. And then the only thing you need to do from here, of course, you can change the name, like get rid of the word copy, and you can call this the name of your campus. So for exam example, Polk, oops, that's not what I wanted to happen. Polk, Digital Citizenship Teacher Documentation, and we'll go to the Share button. If you scroll down, you'll notice there are several buttons here, but this button basically is the embed code that you need so that you can paste it within your Schoology document. So I'll go ahead and click Copy. I'm going to go back to my Common Sense page right now. So what you'll need to do, and I'm not going to, well, actually, I can do all of it here. Let me see. We're going to hit this drop down on the gear. We'll click Edit. And then from here, you can go ahead and make the change. So for example, I'm going to just delete everything. There we go. Delete. And over here on the right hand side, you'll notice it says switch to HTML. So I'm going to click the little dots. You'll click the paste button. And then once you switch back to the other dots, your form should be in here. But just because I don't want to delete all of my fabulous work, I'm going to press the cancel button. But essentially, once you do that, you, you will only have this digital citizenship teacher documentation available so that your teachers can go ahead and fill out this form from within Schoology.